Hey guys, it's Krulls, and welcome back, everybody, to Airport CEO. Just sit back, relax, and enjoy. And if you do enjoy, smack the like button and leave some nice feedback in the comment section. Man, I love this. We've been tweaking, tweaking and doing improvements, and we're going to continue that. But I kind of feel like we might be getting to the breaking point. Like, <laughs> I can't imagine. Like, at this stage, we have about what? We have 1,107 people in the airport. And this is just on one tile, and it's not even full, right? Can you just imagine how many tiles do we have? One, two. It's gonna be six tiles, right? Can you just imagine filling up this whole space and having like twenty-five thousand people in the airport? Oh my gosh! And like fifty crafts arriving and depart uh, departing. It's gonna be a little bit nuts. Well, it is an early access, so hopefully it's gonna be more optimized in the future. Uh, I should sure do hope so, but man, this is so pretty. And I know a lot, of people, a lot of people might be like a little bit upset. There's a lot of airport CEO on the channel at this stage. But you know how it is. Like sometimes you get a game and then you have to go to work or school and whatnot. And the only thing you can think about is coming home playing that game. That is what I'm currently having with the airport CEO. I can't do anything else. I just think about doing improvements, tweaking and uh, making an airport. It's just nuts. But... Let it be, let it be, all right? It will pass. But for the moment, it is Airport CEO. Previous episode, we did this. It is not perfect. We're going to tweak this in today's episode, but I'm going to do it off camera because I don't want to bore you guys to death. The problem we have is those trays. I think it is lag related. I'm not sure, but we can't have them. So my solution to the problem is going to be a very bad solution, but it's going to work. We're going to have a separate one scanning disk for each and single one. And also those scanners are going to be moved to this line as we had it like from the beginning. I think that is going to be the optimal way to go about it. All right. So that is what we're going to do. I think having one each on every single one, I think that that's got to be the way to go. At least at least how the tray work now. Because look at this, this, this break. It is causing delays. And we can't have delays. I don't care about luggage coming in late and whatnot, but delays... Not bueno, not bueno whatsoever. So everybody, let me just tweak this. I don't want to bore you guys once again tweaking this on camera. So BRBs. And we did it. Okay, <laughs> this has taken such a long time, all right? But we did it. And look how it flows, all right? There is no blockage. Everything rolls out just perfectly fine. It is it is it's not perfect. Like, it, the trays are ideal for this task, but they're just too slow, I think, Use lag, as I, as I said, right? So it looks something like this. Each loading bay has their own security scan system. And this, <laughs> I'm not going to tweak it again, okay? This is going to be the final system. I think this is how it operates. Can you just see how I made a little path here for this guy to stand on? It's beautiful. Yeah, this is like super smooth. There is no blockage. However, we do have a little bit of blockage. Um, well, on the incoming luggage, I guess, because uh, underground. <laughs> Look at this. There's like six separate lines going all the way from the main terminal building to this place over here. And then we just have one outbound to the to the baggage claim. And this this might not be ideal. All right. This might, might not be ideal. Neither. Let me just pause. And move about to here. Neither is this setup here, because I had to tweak it, all right? Because since we have six separate scanning systems and six separate loading bays, they had to be a little bit split up. So as you can see here, instead of they going underground, uh, as they did, we have this system now. So basically, as you can see, this is one, this is one, this is one, this is one. And this middle one here has, well, it's a checking disk, right? But it couldn't go left and right, left and right, left and right, because they are kind of connected to one loading bay. So I had to make this little thing here. So this acts as one and it's connected, for example, to, to the first one over here. But then I had to put a little tray here. So it does tell it to go that, uh, go that direction to the destination, all right? Uh, I don't think we have seen any back to go in that direction. So I don't think it does it uh, in a wrong um, manner, so to say. And same goes for here. And <laughs> is it working? <laughs> I hope so. Well, people are getting their stuff, I guess. Bags are spinning about. Everything here should be connected fine. And there's also trays underneath here. So I'm hoping that this is not going to cause big issues for when it comes to like the, the delays when it comes to the, the baggage claim system. But uh, 
Well, we will see. At least I have not seen a single aircraft being delayed so far with this new baggage system. So I'm happy. However, we would need maybe to get an incoming baggage scanning building in as well somewhere about. And I made a little staff room. How awesome isn't this? The rampies can use this as well. And the constructors. Yeah, there's a lot of them here because we've been expanding a building. But uh, why are you guys not going here? Are you not allowed? Let me see here. Allowed staff types? No, you guys can go be here and chill about. Why are you out here? And beautiful bushes and trees all the way around. So, first is first. Before we continue and doing anything, I'm going to do this. Uh, we still have a few aircrafts to schedule, but let's just accept swiftly. Let's go accept our Strata, maybe. 7,700 per flight. That is quite... Is it going, is it going up? I think it's going up. An NAS. That might be the final blow to this airport, is it? Oh, man. Oh, crap. I forgot that we had... Well, we only have what? That is 14, 13, 13, and 14. No biggie whatsoever. So let's just jump to Monday. Air Strata. Where is that coming from? Uh, Cardiff? Cardiff, is that Wales? Is that a ship arriving? KRL is International Airport from Dubai. Hoo hoo! Playing with the big boys! Dubai, Dubai, that is awesome. All right, let me just hear. CLM was from where? Hamar, Qatar, okay. And we have NAS arriving from the almighty, no, Almaty Airport in Kazakhstan, Borat. Board is coming to visit, so let just let me just schedule them out. I'm, well, actually, let, let's do a little bit on camera. I kind of want to see. I did rename the gates. We have gate one to twelve. Somebody suggested that in the comment section, so we did that. And uh, I'm look, a little bit curious how we can make this work with uh, with the with the checking desk. So because we only have fifteen of them, right? And uh, yeah, as you can see, already here there is no available. That is on gate twelve. So let's let what happens if we skip to those? Yeah, those gates are are uh, or those gates have the possibility with more check-ins. All right. So let's put out. I'm just I'm just wondering how many flights can we squeeze in? There's twenty-seven aircrafts on this, and then we had what uh, nine on this. Man, this is gonna be. I don't. Hmm. 27 that's 36 aircrafts 36 aircrafts during one day i know this might not be a world record but uh, it's definitely for this airport right and this size of of airport i think everything's gonna especially here i don't think this is gonna cope with that but any who's anyhow so let them do it let them do it what i'm thinking of here is doing this i'm not really doing that much uh, money at this stage you can be taking some loans let me just see here have we repaid them already I don't think connecting to bank system, except this is a little bit strange. I don't know if anybody who, who, who plays this game have noticed this, but the, the loan seems to reset. I can accept a loan, and then for some reason if I reload my game or save the game and reload, I can do a new loan and the other one is paid off. Was it just me? I don't know. Let's go Indigo. Then we got some spare cash. What I want to do here is I really want to get into a... Oh no, there is a delays. Okay, where is the choking point? Where is the choking point now? Because I don't see anything over here. Maybe we should just get some more rumpies in here. But I don't think that is the issue. Any baggage here? No, rampies thing about. Rampies, rampies chilling about. There's no bags, no nothing. We should, however... Well, there's actually a few security guards here, but let's just get a few extra ones just in case we need that because there's like, hello, there's like six security guards just needed for, to operate this area. So airport security. And let's Anouk van der Berg and Andre Naidio. Javier Rojas. And let's just get a few extra ones and also maybe if we can find any rumpies. Let's see here. Rumpy, 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 rumpy agent. Rumpy agent, rumpy agent, rumpy agent, rumpy agent, and one more rumpy agent. How are we doing before we do anything else? Fuel, request an extra track. Here we do have one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we have plenty of service vehicles. Like there's like a 10 at least in that, that one. And there's a bunch of them in here. I think we should cope with that at least. But let's just get to it. Foundation. 
because I want to have a little baggage scanner as well for incoming luggage, and we could maybe even place it here technically. As you can see, I've moved the gates, by the way. So the gate is moved now, and we can maybe make some pretty stuff over here later on. But not, not now, not now. Let's get a little foundation building in here. Let me see here, where's the road coming? So if we would make... Well, it is going to be a big one or it's going to be a small one. Let's make it to about here. I think we should be able to squeeze in... Uh, yeah, I think we should be able to squeeze in the... Hello? There we go. Um, the scanning station in here without a biggie. And then having like a road even. Just going in front. So let's just get a public road here. Or a service road, I mean. And let's maybe... Let me see, where does that go? That goes on that. Let's take this down just to make it kind of symmetrical to everything. There's gonna be 216, and that goes into that guy. And we're gonna have a little spare little thing over here, maybe for some bushes and whatnot. And let's see here. They're gonna be building that up. Uh, do I need to? Let me see here. Items, items, items. We will need to have a bag scanner. Oh man, this is going to be a ginormous area. And this is not bad. Because actually what we could do is maybe even split this up into two pieces, right? Like split the, the, the baggage line. But that that's, that means trays. And you know what trays means? It means badness. Man, now I'm kind of debating. Split it up or not? Split it up or not? Let's not split it up for the moment. Let's just place the scanner over here. So the scanner has a baggage belt going like this and then it continues if it doesn't find anything so let's just get this done man it's so dark it's dark and skinny and then we're gonna have uh, the bag scanners so organics goes huh then we have the explosivos goes huh then we have uh, man this is a little bit painful explosivos money cash like Man, I have no idea how many times I've tweaked this, but I, 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 hopefully this is the final of my understandings on how it operates. So that is five scanners, right? And if they find anything over the ground belt, they're just going to puke it out onto this conveyor belt, which goes to here. That goes to here. And then we're going to have one of those final scanning stations, which is going to be this guy over here. Yeah, I think like I think we could easily squeeze in one more next to this. Let's see. If I place this guy here, will there be enough space? Yeah, there should be. And the baggage destroy is gonna be set just off here. 75k. Okay, I'm wasting money. But it's for the greater good, everybody. It's for the greater good. Tilt tray of ground belt, but boom. Let me see here. It's gonna be an underground belt. Here. And here can be here and here as i understand correctly and overground belt goes into this guy goes into that guy man it's a little bit tricky to see all right but hopefully this is how we're gonna operate it and then uh, that poops out stuff that poops out stuff that poops out stuff all right so let's just maybe just extend it by two or something just so we get some space in and then we can just continue where does that that goes into here Hmm. Yes, thinking of it, could we take technically place two next to each other? That should not be a big issue here, right? In this humongous building of ours. Is this gonna be enough? Hopefully this and that over here. Perfect. We do have still 127 contractors, so they should be doing a fantastic job on this, but... Uh, Time will tell, time will tell. And then we also would need a crossing and a little door opening to this building. So let's just get to it. Let's just get a small or medium door in uh, about... Uh, let me see, where is that guy? This is just so we can kind of align it correctly with the other side. Boom. And boom. And just a little crosswalk across like this. And then the area is going to be secure. Boom. Secure this. And secure this. However, I'm also going to make this as a little staff area. Is this the relaxation area? I always make a wrong choice here. Um, nope. This is the correct area. There we go. Well, what do you guys think? Will this work out? Will it fail tremendously? Time will tell. But that is two extra security guards, right? What time is it? It's four... Oh, the first aircraft is going to be arriving soon, right? And this is not even set up. Oh man, maybe we should not have made this because now it's going to be a little bit of a problem because the first aircraft is inbound and we have to demolish all this and they are still trying to build this up. Ay, ay, caramba! 
What have we done? Well, hopefully, let me see here. Can I speed this up a little bit? Hmm. Hopefully, they're going to be fast enough to build this. Like, they're doing a fantastic job. This is so picture perfect. All right, what was it in detected in this bag? Explosives. Let's see what my idiot security guard does. Does he let it through? Good guy, security guy. Let's see. Okay, is there explosive as well? Holy crap, this is getting to a dangerous point on the airport. Yeah, look, look how nicely this is. Everything here is just placed. I think they're just waiting for, for the, the luggage carts. And I think what they do, there's a luggage cart going out to the airplane first, uh, unloading it, and then when it comes back, it brings back the bags or something, because I have so many so many rumpies. Look at, look at them. We have, like, rumpies for days to spare, right? So it's not that I don't have the, the, the service carts. I think what it is is just... Uh... Oh, man, look at that. Scheduled. 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 Yeah, I think it's just that uh, it works this way in the game. <laughs> so, oh, man, I don't think we can buy this day. If we do, it's going to be a great success. But now we kind of demolish stuff and everything is kind of semi-bad. There's 2,300 people in the airport. And can you guys see my frames now? About three frames. Imagine this. Imagine all the people. Imagine this with six tiles. I be darned. It would look fantastic. But uh, man. Ooh, the first maple just arrived. Uh, from Stockholm. Okay, that is being fueled. Refueled, that is, and also a baggage cart is en route. This should be now set up, but I have not seen any luggage arriving yet. So the question is, let me see here. Has this even moved? There's no bags here, no bags here, no bags here. Where's all the incoming luggage? I wonder. Hmm, let me just see here. Maybe we did manage. Is there any people waiting for the bags over here? Is there any bags spinning about? Oh my gosh, this is so dirty. That is dirt all over the place. Oh, oh man, yeah, okay, running late. Doesn't matter. Oh, just move to this place. Pause the game for a second. Why is everybody standing in the toilet? Okay, I don't get it. I, why? 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 <laughs> what happened over here? You guys are going to need to go to the bathroom. Yes, I understand. There's diarrhea on the floor, but don't mind the diarrhea. You can still do your business, right? Or maybe not. There's gonna be like hundreds of people here. Oh, I can see a little like cleaning guy. He's cleaning the bathroom. That's perfect. However, let me see here. People in the airport, 2,100. So it's going down a little bit. How's the security queues? To be fair and square, they are not horrible. Like, this side is pretty clear, so six should be enough for this scale. Any luggage going in here? Okay, I can see the bags going in. Look how smooth it is! There is no blockage! There's 12 aircrafts on the ground. One is just leaving. Anybody arriving? Hopefully not. Somebody told me to upgrade this guy, but I don't think you can click it. It is, it is not possible. Oh, by the way! By the way, everybody! We do have a little giveaway. Uh, the developers of Airport CEO give me five keys to give away. So there's gonna be there's gonna be how to how to get a copy in the or how to enter the giveaway in the description. But uh, please make sure you sh to follow me on Twitter at least and use a hashtag which is gonna be Keralis CEO in one word. So hashtag Keralis CEO and then just write some random message and I'm going to pick five winners for hopefully for the next episode, right? So just make sure you check out the description. Uh, it's going to be full information. And also, thank you so much, devs. I know, might be not much, but it's still five keys, right? Can you guys see the bags just disappearing? Let me just think about this. How would we do it otherwise? I guess what we could do, technically, let me just go underground here. What we could do, since we do have three uh, upper ones and three bottom ones, so the three bottom ones could be going to this guy over here, right? And the other one will be going to this guy over here, and then they would just meet up without having this tray in the middle. In the middle of the night. Yep, that is how we're going to do it, everybody. I think this, that might be a lot better. So if we bring that guy down, 
and then let's see here. We're gonna break the circuit about here. So that guy turns. That line goes into to one of them. It's gonna be well. Actually, we can maybe even remodel this a little bit. We can take this guy into here, demolish this whole section. Okay, please bear with me. Please do bear with me. It is a lot of stuff to think about when you play this game. Especially working on this. Then we're going to demolish this whole section here. So that is going to be gone. That is going to be gone. So those guys are going to be coming in on that. Those other guys are going to be coming in on that. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is going to be picture perfect. Well, is it? No. Yes, it is. It's going to be absolutely amazing. Just need to align this correctly. Man, look how awesome this looks. Like, every single aircraft on the ground has the little, like, baggage carts, fuel trucks, rumpies working about. I just wish it didn't lag so much. I guess, like, for me, the breaking point is around 2,000 people in the airport. Currently, we have 2,864 and 218 employees. So that's over 3,000 people in the airport spinning about. And it is definitely not a pretty whatsoever hello no uh, okay pause the game for a second why we do we click uh please don't click there we go let me just see here by the way we have 12 aircrafts on the ground one is landing one is departing or two is two departing okay so we have those departing over here we have one and this guy is leaving as well and yeah you guys also told me like that they leave a different um different directions depending on the wind which is kind of a cool feature i didn't know that but that's actually really sweet so i guess like scheduling 30 plus flights per day is a no-go zone like at, at this state at least because it's not gonna work out that pretty now is it <laughs> this is nuts oh man i love it <gasps> But it is so nuts. One thing which I can't figure out. Why my people are stuck in the toilets. I, I don't get it. I, I, they go in there. And they don't seem to use it. They just block it. They don't go to the bathroom. Like Occasionally there's uh, some person going in and doing numero dos. But for the most of the case it's just them standing about. It's blocking. Blocking everybody. So I'm thinking like what the crap is going on in the bathrooms. Is there like a secret meeting in the bathroom or, or what? I don't know. <laughs> that is nuts. There's hardly nobody here in the in the in the personal room or not personal. What do you call it? Uh, the staff room. Let's get this carpet in here as well. There we go. Now it looks just amazing. But man. Yeah, it's a little bit nuts, everybody. Man, just look at this. People leave the airport. I don't think you can have 36 flights scheduled during a, a day. It's... I, I think it's... I think it's... I think it's impossible. All right? I think it is impossible. Like, the time is half nine. We still have 2,166 people in the airport, plus the 230 employees we've got over here. And it is... It is... It is nuts. I don't think... I don't think it's only, like... Um, the people, but you know, every single person here, don't look at the floors, all right? We have a situation with cleaning, okay? And, and toilets. Don't look at the toilets. Who broke this? Fatty. Doesn't matter. I mean, every single person here, right, has a little bit of information. And I guess that calculates... We have to calculate that into our equation, that that requires quite a bit of calculation of the game as well. Everything here. Yes, delay. So I think, I think like this, for the next day, which is Tuesday, I only scheduled one flight per gate. And I think in best case scenario, maybe, maybe we could have two per gate, that is 24 flights. But even, even, even then, it's going to be pretty heavy. Uh, have we signed a contract? Please sign. What, is it Italian kitchen? Veggie? Okay, let's go ve veg. I guess that's the only one we could have here. Let's go like that. I mean, who's, 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 who's breaking everything? Everybody, we've made it. 36 flights have come and gone. Well, I think the last one is just taxing out. 
Oh boy, it has been a very hectic 36 flights. We can't cope with that. 12 should be enough. What is going on over here? Do we having a staff meeting? I think we're having a staff meeting. But uh, as soon as night arrives, it's so sweet because look how clean everything is. Well, maybe not everything, but uh, m most of the things are super clean. Hey, where are you going? Why are you no bag? Take your bag. Still one bag. Who's this bag? Whose bag is this? Oh, there we go. Who's was this? Who's this? Jeff. <laughs> My name is Jeff. Jeff pick up his bag and I think that is the last bag. So the next flight is not going to be a busy day. There's 12 flights arriving. 505, 7, 100, 830, 1045, 1050. Those are fairly close to each other, however. But I think like playing with 12 flights, I think we should be able... Who oh, is breaking everything? Do we have a technician in route? Hopefully we do. Who's this guy? Okay, that's my my personal from the shoppies. Okay, there's the technician. Moving about. That's perfect. Thank you, dude. Thank you so much. Oh, boy. There we go. The first chicken. Yeah, we should be able to cope with that without any problem whatsoever. 12 flights without any lag. Yeah, that should be the way to go. Now I feel bad because now we built big, big scale. And we can't use it. Well, you we can technically use it, but... Not as intended. It's so sweet. Go to the restroom. Wondering if they stop anybody here on those security things. <laughs> the broom. <laughs> the broom. <laughs> it's so cool to see. Alright, so that is going to be the first flight, I think. Let me see here. So 505, 700, 700, 830, 45. Yeah, this should not be a problem. And I think we can manage to even play it without having to pause it all over the place all the time. And it's so clean and nice. It is so... Well, hey. I don't understand why don't they, those guys can't find a hmm, path to... Is it just because they want to clean here in between? I doubt it. I mean... Number dos. That's a lot of. Oh, did you just open that door on that guy? Who poops with their backpack on their back? That's gonna be a very awkward position to poop in. But I'm not gonna be the guy who judges, okay? Yeah, look at that. In bag in the hand? How, how do, do you have to put it down somewhere, buddy? But don't leave your luggage unattended. Okay, that check-in is open for business. Let me see here. How is the luggage doing over here? Any bags coming in? Yep, bags coming in on this one over here. Without any problem whatsoever. Like this, for example. Now I wish there was a baggage cart already arriving and loading those bags and just waiting until the aircraft gets in. Which is about now. It is arriving from Turin Airport in Italia. Ciao, ciao, Italia. It's coming in. Who's this guy? That was a close call. And that is going for gate number one, I believe, right? Which is this one over here. Yep, indeed. So now let's see here. How long does it take until... Let's see here. Did we request... Okay, refueling in progress. So we did request that. Deboiling in progress. And then we have the luggage, right? So there's only, only one rampy has arrived doing the little checking, 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 checklist. But where is the baggage cart now? That's what I'm wondering, because those bags over here, they gotta be for that, that flight, right? Let me see here. Uh, loading scheduled for SV272. And which flight is this one over here? SV271. Okay, so it's not that guy. Is there any bags in here? Yeah, there's any bags over here. Bags. No, it's only bags. Maybe. Okay, the low unloading schedule, but what is. Oh, does it change? I guess it might change, right? It might change when it leaves. So let's see here. Okay, so 271 inbound, 272, 272 out. Okay, perfect. I get it. <laughs> I get it. Okay. Not the brightest, brightest moment of my life, but I get it, I get it, I get it. 
So where is the ba where is the baggage cart? Why is there not a baggage cart thingy already loading it? Yeah, they are unloading it. They're very nice, very nice to see. Okay, the bags are going back. Oh, you forgot some. Hello? You just dropped. Who's, whose bags is this? Eva Carlson. Katrin Schneider. Oh, did you. Oh, I think they broke it. Did it. Did it. Oh, did, did, stop, stop clicking all over the place. Is that just because they broke the bags and they left the half of the bag here? I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened. But it still makes me a little bit like curious. All right. So loading for that flight. That flight 272 should be leaving at 9.05. So yeah, we still have two hours to load the airplane, I guess. Let's see. Unloading in progress. Yes, yeah, spin a pause a little bit more. It's kind of like my dog trying to find a good spot in the bed. It just spins. All right. So now another arrives. Okay. I guess it makes sense. All right. I guess it makes sense. So bags are going out here. That is perfect. Those bags are loading, but hey, it's not even fully loaded. Get back, get the center back. Hmm. All right, let's see here. Security checkpoint over here. Is there any bags inbound? Yep, there they come. Okay, what is this? What have we detected? What is that? Stop. That is explosivos. Roy. I wish I could, I wish I could just find Roy. And call the police on him. Or arrest him, at least. Okay, what is that? Organics. So that could be an apple or a banana. Please don't destroy apple or banana. Yeah. I like bananas. So that, that, that works out to just great. Still have some bags here, which I'm kind of thinking, like, why did they leave the half of the bags here? Okay, the baggage cars arrive. There's still broken bags on, on, the, on the tarmac. As I understand it, they broke some bags. If that is the case, that would be kind of cool, because that would be super realistic on how, how it operates. Maybe don't leave them on the tarmac, that is, but, uh, but definitely just leave them. Or break them, at least. Okay, so those are unloading. Don't tell me this guy. Will this guy go back to get, get the rest? When he still had, like, one car just empty? Let's see what happens here. Okay, shift change coming in here. Oh, the bags are gone. Okay, we, maybe we grab the bags. Yeah, that guy, I guess, is going back to, to base, right? So he goes back to base. Now those bags are rolling in for the next flight. Yeah, see, this is just this is just too much now for the, for the task. We have just too much of stuff over here. Oh, this is leaving already. In time? <laughs> 905? You, you, you early? You're amazing at this game. We are amazing. Oh, by the way, fuel. I forgot about that yesterday. No, we still have fuel. Okay, request one just to kind of fill it up. How are we doing over here? Yeah, look how... This is the way to go. Don't have too many flights, kids. That guy was pooping no hands. He had a one bag in each hand. Look at this guy. No. Is this the guy? Okay, where are we going? You go out. He didn't even wipe himself. Look at this guy. Two bags on backpack. And didn't wipe. And that's how it looks when you don't wipe. Okay, somebody broke the sink. Is anybody in route to repair? There we go. There's the guy. Yep. Just just use your little thingy. Wrench. It's gonna definitely help it. Yeah, just smash the tiles in the bathroom. Perfectly fine. Perfectly fine. Baggage unloading in progress. Alright, so it's coming along nicely. We should not have any issues with delays today. Okay, everybody should make it through security without a hassle. Everybody should make their way through check-ins, toilets, shoppies, and whatnot. And everything should be just perfect. There's no no queues. This is so nice to see, like no build-up of queues and whatnot. Bags are being left left and right. A lot of left and rights. Any baggage over here? Nope, nothing. And how are we doing on this? Okay, there's the bags coming in. Oh, man, I'm so happy. I kind of wish still, though. Oh, bags coming in here. I still kind of wish. Which flight was this from, by the way? This was from SW582. But it's scheduled. SW5... 
or NA339. Landed on time. Oh, it's amazing. It's amazing. It's working out, everybody. Well, on a small scale. On a small scale. Thank you so much for watching. See you guys in the next one, which might be... I wouldn't say the final one, but we're going to definitely try to purify this whole region over here with shoppies, seating areas, and whatnot, make it really nice, and then we're going to get some smaller aviation in. But this, the big-scale airport currently is, is no bueno. It is, uh, it is just too laggy having too, much, too, much, too many people in. This just arrived from Stockholm. What a game. I love it. See you guys in the next one. Thank you so much. And let me just leave. let me just end on this beautiful airplane arriving here. There we go. Like that. See you guys. Bye-bye. Who broke this? Oh.